Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm here with How to Be a Lion, which is a really great book for kids because it tells them you don't have to roar to be heard. A powerful book of celebrating courage and being yourself. So I think it has a great message and we're having a giveaway, which will be on the blog. There'll be the Rapicopter widget you can enter for this book. So it says, sometimes finding the right words can change the world. Leonard and his friend, Marianne, have a happy life together, talking, playing, writing poems, and making wishes until one day a pack of bullies questions whether it's right for a lion and a duck to be pals. Leonard soon learns there are many ways to be a lion and many ways to be a friend in this powerful book celebrating courage, mindfulness, and being yourself from the New York Times bestselling author and illustrator, Ed Veer. How to be a lion, the world, how to be a lion. The world is full of ideas. Big ones, small ones, good ones, bad ones. Some think this, others think that. Something we should all remember. Some say there's only one way to be a lion. They say, lions are fierce. If they catch you, they will chomp you. Crunch, crunch, chomp. They say a lion can't be gentle. Well, they haven't met Leonard. Leonard loves to walk by himself, feeling the sun warm his back and the grass under his paws. Some days, Leonard walks to his thinking hill. Sometimes he thinks important thoughts. Sometimes he daydreams somewhere in between. He hums quietly and plays with words, putting them together this way, then that way, making them into poems. Some say, wait, lions are not gentle. Lions do not write poems. And if a lion met a duck, bad luck for that duck, crunch, crunch, chomp. But if Leonard met a duck, what do you think would happen? Hello, said Leonard. I'm Leonard. Hello, said the duck. I'm Marianne. I'm writing a poem, said Leonard, but I'm stuck. Will you help me? You're in luck, said Marianne. I'm a poetic duck. Together they played with Leonard's poem until the words came unstuck. Leonard and Marianne found they liked each other. Under the sun in the long grass, they lay together. They played. They went for walks and had long meandering conversations, a mixture of quacks and quiet roars. At night, they watched for shooting stars and made wishes if they saw them. Do you think the universe has edges? Quacked Marianne. If it doesn't, said Leonard, will we fall out? Together, they are happy. They wish for nothing more than this. Some say that a lion should have chomped a duck by now. One day, a pack of fierce lions came prowling around. What's going on here? They growled. Why hasn't this duck been chomped? This duck is Marianne, said Leonard. She's my friend, and nobody will chomp her. The fierce lions came closer. We hear you're gentle. We hear you make up poems but not chomping a duck. You've gone too far. The fierce lions growled and roared. There's only one way to be a lion. Leonard, you must be fierce. Must I be fierce, said Leonard. Must I change? They're wrong, quacked Marianne, and we will show them why. Leonard and Marianne went to their thinking hill. They thought hard. After a while, Leonard hummed a serious hum and ideas started to form. Marianne quacked a serious quack. The idea grew. They put their words together like this, like that, building them into a poem that made sense of what they thought. Finally, they were ready. Leonard took a deep breath. I'll say this quietly. I needn't roar to be heard. 
I can be a friend to a bee or a bird. You said I must change, I must chomp Marianne, but chomping your friends is a terrible plan. Let nobody say just one way is true. There are so many ways that you can be you. If there must be a must, then this we must try. Why don't you be you? And I will be I. Some say words can't change the world. Leonard says if they make you think, then maybe they can. Is there just one way to be a lion? I don't think so. Do you? This book is for those who daydream and those who think for themselves. Ed Veer is the author and illustrator of numerous picture books, including the New York Times and USA Today bestseller, Max the Brave, and its sequel, Max at Night and Max and Bird. He lives in London. Learn more about Ed's work at edveer.com. This is published by Doubleday Books for Young Readers. Check out the post on mommyramblings.org. There'll be a link in the video description for the giveaway for this book. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment on it. Those will be entries in the giveaway, so you can get those out of the way. And let me know your thoughts on this book, and if you think it's a book that's helpful to children. I do. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope that it was entertaining to you. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.